But yeah, no. I mean, my biggest goal is, is if I can take out Rome, if I can take out Rome, I win. I just win, because if I take out Rome, that means I have all of his cities on this land. Yeah, I might have to take it a few, you know, hundred turns rebuilding it, but no one's going to be able to stop me. I'm going to have such a production powerhouse. Now, the question is, how far away is our, our, like, nuking abilities? It's obviously in the Atomic Era. Nuclear fission comes in... ...way in the future. Okay. And right now... We're actually kind of catching up with Rome, because they're only, like, about here. So, that's good. Hmm. The only problem I have is... I'm gonna start doing all this production stuff, but I really don't have any... Like, I don't have any... I should, I should probably start making siege units and shit like that. So I can destroy cities faster. I need a lot of things. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm just gonna put this guy in automated exploration. There's just so much open water. And I can't be fucked to just keep on trying to find that stuff. And same thing with this guy. Automate exploration. They need to find the best possible routes to go around here. <laughs> you are poison to this world! You are evil! Denounces you. You have different governments. I see you are a like-minded individual and must commend your government practices. He likes me for that! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, issue that Rome is building a campus. There's just so many fucking news things. Well, how long would it take for my guy to get back over to my land? Too long. So when you get denounced, you have like five turns until they can wage war on you for no penalty. In terms of distance, he's pretty- f he's right over here, and, and I'm not really worried about his combat strength. In fact, I, I should probably look at it. Hold up. Uh, world rankings. In terms of military strength? Oh, he's actually pretty up there. But I can, like, triple my combat strength in a very short period of time. Hey, look! He's no longer at 1,400, he's at 1,000 now. Which means he took some heavy losses, or he just sold some units because he was like, Oh shit, this is costing me too much. Alright, so what was I going to do here? Oh yeah, the shipyard! I can also make a Colossus- Oh man, <laughs> that's so great. Okay, so if I made a, make a, a great lighthouse, I get plus three gold, plus three, uh, four faith. And I also get plus one movement for all naval units. I want it. Okay. What am I building from here? In terms of production... They're really... yeah. It would take way too long to get a lot of this shit done, and that's not good for us. Oh yeah, I need to send builders and things up here. I need to work this land. So really, I need to make a builder. It recommends me uh, that I build a trader, but... Mm, builder. Work the land. I should actually send this guy off to our land. We're not going to be attacking Rome just yet. When we attack Rome, I want, like, a full force just already good to go. I don't want to, like, trickle people in. No, dude, fuck off! He's the only guy who wants to make a friendship with me, but I don't want to make a friendship with him. Oh, what the fuck, him? <laughs> He's smiling about it. There will be no peace for you at Odin's table. You are a disgrace. You just commended me for my government. That doesn't make any sense. You fucks. All right. Just give me a bit. Give me three more turns. And we're gonna just start p massive super producing everywhere. Alright, now we can actually up our production. Uh, in terms of this, I should probably make an ancient wall, but we're gonna be swapping over almost like immediately 
to producing units. Oh, but it would take me so goddamn long. Ugh. All right, onto ancient walls. So my city isn't just like bare bones and someone attacks me. The problem if I don't have ancient walls on a city is that like I can't even attack back, and that's never good. Uh, make that lumber mill. We need productivity. I could send two people over to Carthage. I don't really care for them though. We're in a bad state. I have two people who want to attack me because I have a different government from them. What pricks? Can't we talk this out, dude? The answer is no. Like civilizations who do not associate with city-states. Does not like Caesarans of city-states. Or civilizations who conquered city-states. Okay, well, fair enough on that. He's at war? Oh, he's at war with Norway. Oh, you're not the person I'm looking for. We could actually be friends. Send delegation. <laughs> you know what? Everyone dies in this world. That was what I was going to do eventually no anyways. No one starts a war. Or rather, no one in his senses ought to do so. Without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war. And how he intends to conduct it. I feel like this is a message speaking really specifically to me at the moment. What is, um... How far along the tree is our frigates? They are Renaissance era units. Mm, I'm not a fan of that. But we're quite a ways away from having the double naval capacity, so that's not so bad. Oh fuck, I have to do a lot of research for this other stuff. Well, I need metal casing anyways. I need to be able to siege cities up. All right. Now that we have the ability to make cavalry, that's exactly what I'm going to do. They've done pissed me off. They done fucked it up. It makes me really really angry. I need horses. Crap. Uh, well, I guess I'm only making cavalry from one place. Oops. I should make that ancient wall now. I need this medieval fairies thing to hurry up so I can just start focusing on... on production. The fuck was that sound? Enemy spy succeeded- what? In siphoning 184 gold? You son of a bitch! Where? Who's the spy? You got me fucked up! Kabul? Oh, hey guys! Do you give me bonuses that I care for? Nah. Plus two production in the capital and producing units. Why not? I'll take that bonus. You know what, Brazil? Fine. We're friends. God! <laughs> I'm just... I've got so many people coming against me now. Gold. Often have you heard that told. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Shakespeare. Crazy motherfucker. All right, with your people enthused to try medieval changes, we're gonna change our policies. Okay, so we need full-on military capabilities, which is why it's good that we're doing monarchy. We're gonna go 
probably into fascism. When the time comes, we're really far away from it, but I need to take out everyone. And then four military things would be great for us. But for now, we need uh, production towards units. And let's see. We're in the Renaissance slash Industrial Era, so that's how come Chivalry would be really good. 50% um, discount on all unit upgrades could be good as well. Let's see. Plus 30% toward encampment districts and buildings for that district. That'd be good for my capital. If I get 50% discount on all unit upgrades, I could start working on producing a massive force now, and then make them into a bigger force. The problem is, I don't think a 50% discount is going to allow me to buy that much. Uh, hey, <laughs> some of the upgrades are probably going to cost anywhere between like 300 to 600 to maybe even 800 gold. And having that might get me an extra one unit. So I think, well, I think we'll just chill out and keep the unit maintenance because we're about to go to war and I might as well have it not drain me. Now with that said, I do want uh, another thing. Diplomatic! Plus one gold from each of your envoys. Bam! That's going to be a huge bo bo boost, yeah, boost for us. Um, production in all cities. Is there anything that I could grab from here that I really would like? Ooh, I can get culture and science from international trade routes. That's cool. Not what I want at this time, but that's cool to know. Alright, we're just gonna confirm this. <laughs> 42 gold! Oh, that's great. Alright. Um. What are we doing here? Holds artifacts? Ooh. That's cool. We're gonna go for diplomatic science or service, though. I can declare war on people. And get less uh, punishments for it. Which might be nice for the coming, coming battles. One of my biggest issues that I currently have is... I don't have a lot of upgrades for my units. Uh, we haven't been battling- we haven't battled for just hundreds of years. So, we're- we're in a bad spot with that. So I'm really banking on sheer numbers. Just have a shit ton of units constantly coming out. I don't know what the other bonuses are like for the other people, but god, we're just hoping for the best. Greece has switched governments to theocracy. Wait, isn't that... No, alright. I was saying, aren't they the people who denounced me for having a different government from them? They're not. It's fucking Norway in the Aztecs. And first Hephaestus makes a great and massive shield. And he forged on the shield two noble cities. All right, it's wartime, man. We need to make as much as possible. Musketmen, bombardment units. Uh, the only problem with musketmen are the Renaissance era, but oh well. <laughs> I can't really be picky at this time, right? I just wish my... My Sokka horse archers could do something. How can you let those barbarians run amok so close to your home? What the fuck are you talking about? At this point I have almost the entire land revealed and I'm not seeing any barbarians. Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about? This motherfucker.
He's got me paranoid. He's got me, like, inspecting every inch of my land, going, what? Because I'm not settled on any of the other continents. I should be, because Rome's over here like, <laughs> I'm spreading my religion everywhere. Well, whatever. We're gonna, like, have to sacrifice our horsey archers. It was nice to have them for the early game, but they're not great now. That's how it's at least, at least they, they recognize that it would kind of suck to have that. Uh, they, so I can, yeah, you can see I get two cavalry units. As well as the two horse things, so really I just, I can just keep on doing this forever. I can just keep on making shit tons of archers, or uh, cavalry guys. And it'll be a huge bonus for us. Make another one. Make another set. Uh, what else can we do for you guys? We just finished doing what? We made a builder. With them? I don't see the builder. Where the fuck is he? Oh well, whatever. Is there anything that I can make here that would be beneficial? Trader actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh... Musketmen might be nice as well. I'll, I'll go for... For traders. One day, cool Oba will be good. And that might be 32 turns away. Alright. So in terms of people who are... Who don't like me. Uh... They're a bit far away. Aztec shared its main city with me and we can see that he's way in the middle of the land over here. Oh shit, his city's huge! What the fuck? It's at 17. Ooh. You know, that might not be good. But hey, we at least we got a great person. Um. Sweet? We're getting a general. I want that. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass it up. I just barely beat out Rome for it, too. Hmm. Plus one level to Atlantic visibility. I'm not close with a lot of other stuff. But oh well. We can get plus five combat strength and plus one mo industri indu yeah, movement to industrial modern area units. And that's obviously both very, very good. And then upon activation, we can get two envoys. So when he's useless in the Atomic Age, and if he's still alive, that'll be good. Our civilization's dedication to military affairs has given rise to a great general among our troops. When used wisely in the field, generals can change the tide of battle in our favor. Fantastic. Where is he? There he is. Simon Bolivar! Drive your jeep and join up with our front forces, for we are preparing for war! I think the thing I'm most excited for in terms of my double cavalry unit production is the fact that tanks. Eventually, that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna be making double tanks. And that'll be great. Alright. Um... I'll make another musketman. We just need all-out war. One problem we face is that we don't have open borders, so our siege is gonna suck. We have to, like, come in and flank from... down here. And I have to hope to God Rome doesn't capitalize on me being a bit busy. Good news is Rome still is at war with Brazil. So... he's still trying to kill them. I don't think he's gonna want to send forces across the ocean right into the middle of my productivity area. I'd like to get an upgrade for my guys, but unfortunately, I can't for another... 
very long time. <laughs> very, very long time. With that said, I will go down this route. Oh, fuck. We can get coal eventually. That's another strategic resource that I'm going to sit there and be like, God, I hope I have some on my main island. There's got to be, like, karma coming back for me, right? Positive karma? I have so little strategic resources on my island, on my continent, that something has to give. It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. I gotta, like, have a ton of uranium on my land or something. Right, we're pretty much just gonna make everybody fortify around this, uh, shore. <laughs> That's our purpose. That's what we're doing here. Fortify! They attack me, I murder them. Although, with that said, cavalry are melee, so... Ooh. Yeah, I really do need more musketmen. Right? Those are... No, musketmen are melee units too, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck! I just realized... My highest thing is midi- uh, is crossbowmen. Oh no, we don't have range support. That's not good. They fucking siphoned to get- What the fuck, dude? This light It's obviously Rome! It's a sign assure of all eyes. <laughs> that cheeky son of a bitch is sitting here taking money from my city. And he expects me to just not realize that? I want to. I want to know how to spot spies. Ugh, bastards! Just taking my gold. Okay. Well, I can make a frigate from here, but I'd probably. I'd, I'd actually really just do the Colossus, just so I have more and more wonders. Because at this point, I might be one of the only people just focusing down on it through like so many cities. It's not the smartest thing, but, oh well. Fortify. Now we do have... One crossbowman. Eh. I can buy another one? Oh, let's see. Purchase an item with gold? Uh, no. I cannot buy a crossbowman. I'm so fucking poor. No. Alright. I can buy a siege tower, that's something I want. Classical era support unit. <laughs> That's so old. You can probably get taken out in like a single shot. Now who the fuck are these guys? Oh, this chick. She's at war with Norway. Norway. You know... Spartans are not interested in material goods, but I thank you for the gifts your delegation brought me. There. Good. Alright. She accepts my gift. Maybe we can... Maybe we can be friendly. Uh, emphasizes protectorate wars. Admire civilizations that start protectorate wars. Dislike civilizations that attack city states. Alright. Maybe we can be allies with her at some point. I mean, you know, it's inevitability that everybody's gonna... ...die off eventually. That is my goal, but if I can have a pal along the way, that wouldn't be so bad. Send delegation. We're happy to welcome your delegation <laughs> to our capital. There you go. I don't know if I can make alliances yet, actually. Didn't I grab that before? Oh, shit, no. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay. Open Civic Street. Holy shit, we got a long way to go with this stuff. I'm at the beginning of the Renaissance era with my research. My- my civics are a bit behind. But I want to make an alliance with them, a formal thing that's like, Hey, if someone attacks me- Actually, no, I don't want that. The fuck am I talking about? Ooh. Uh, well... I have two tea bags, but no oranges. And you have... Two oranges, but no tea bags. I accept your deal. 
How many cities do they have in comparison to me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they're not too far ahead of me in overall city numbers, but they're pretty ahead of me in terms of which cities have a lot of fucking population. Look at their districts, holy shit. Uh, we got a new quest about barbarians, but we don't care about it. You've met a, rep a representative of the Preslov City State. Oh, that's why. What do they do? <laughs> they also give productivity. That's funny. Why not? Okay. If I keep making... I think this will be my last set of cavalry, guys. Just so that way I'm not sitting there, like, overloaded. Because you obviously, you can't make... Uh, you can't stack too many units on the same tile. And specifically, you can't stack two attacking guys on the same tile. So I can't, like, bring my cavalry guys together and make them one mega cavalry. So I gotta be careful about the way I do shit. Um, at the moment, this place is in a, a bad position. <laughs> I can make a frigate here and get it stuck in the water. That'd be hilarious, but we're not doing that. I'll make a monument. Why not? Okay. We gotta work on this land. Get its productivity up. Oh, nice! And we found some more barbarians! Hold up, alright. So it says we have a trading outpost in the city of Antium. Times have changed, and the era of diplomatic delegations has passed. It is important that we now establish embassies with our friends and allies. Tell me more, because I don't know what the hell that means. Delegations and resident embassies can be established between players to improve relations and gain diplomatic visibility. A delegation or embassy needs to be sent to every leader individually. Delegations cost 10 gold and embassies cost 25 gold, which is paid to the other leader. This will give you a small positive bonus in your relationship with that leader. It also gives you a one level of diplomatic visibility. Okay, resident embassies are unlocked with the Diplomatic Service Civic, at which point they replace delegations. The effects of resident embassies and delegations do not stay. In diplomacy, there are two kinds of problems, small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves, and the large ones you will not be able to do anything about. Ha! <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny one, okay. I can make spies now! Great! And I can also declare wars. Uh, I used to declare war... On a power that has religiously converted one of your cities? I can use that on Rome. Okay. Uh, power that has captured one of your cities from friends or allies. Nope, don't have that. Don't have that. I can do a uh, protectorate war if I wanted to. Hmm. I think we're just going to keep stuff. We're, we're in a good position. For our current policies. Let's we'll leave that be. Alright. If I send this traitor over to Saul, I'll complete his bonus and get an envoy for him. But 12 gold plus two cultures. As well as faith. Holy shit. I'll take it. And then in terms of these, eh, we don't care for either of them. With that said, if I go for humanism, I can immediately start just fucking off to the other era and leave exploration in the dust. Alright, let's make a mine. 
productivity ho! Oh, I don't have field cannons yet. What the hell am I doing? I just realized I'm making this bombard unit just because of things in general, right? Actually, no, 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 we're good. Okay, I thought the field cannon was the bombard unit. But we're still a good ways away from that. Actually, intriguing. I could jump forward into the modern era. And have a better siege unit. In... 19 turns. Oh, I have to do rifling. Fuck, never mind! Wait! No, no, never mind. Never mind about that, too. I was completely wrong. The only problem is... We're leaving some of the more important things behind. We're gonna need coal at some point. Hopefully it just comes around at the same time, and I don't actually need steam power for it. Because, uh... We're a ways away from that, too. 